generally with the Zilla Hackathon, we had a week to come up with an idea. And and one thing I, I know and, and we've done inside of other hackathons is go through uh, starting first with asking generally the community of people in the world, what is the problem? And so knowing with Zillow, we saw that uh, they were asking about housing. We were interested inside of renting since we're all gonna be renting very soon as we like exit Morehouse. Mm. And so um, we started off with asking a whole lot of different communities on Reddit, uh, what's the worst part of long-term renting? Uh, and so after asking that to about 13 communities, we got about 500 responses that we then took and used the method that we learned uh, doing research for Autodesk here at Morehouse uh, to take those 500 responses break them up uh, into sections so that we all could look at each individual one of them and then put them into categories. Inside those categories, uh, uh, basically problem categories of what people have with long-term renting. Then we took the innovation categories, the, these kind of general guidelines that Zillow gave us, and we used those innovation categories and the problem categories together to be able to make a set of possible ideas for the hackathon. The idea that we came up with uh, after looking at those possible ideas and voting on them is Rillaby, which basically gives you an early warning system for uh, dramatic rent increases. And so uh, if you're a person who's currently renting or a person who's looking to rent, uh, the idea with Rillaby is that you'd give us an address that you're looking at and we tell you over the next course of several years if the rental increase dramatically and price you out of actually living there and then needing you to move again to find a better place to stay that's within your budget. We started out with just coming up with wireframes. So I'm familiar with Figma through a program outside of school that I participate in. So I just came up with some designs after researching Zillow's app itself and other apps that were similar with housing issues and uh, then presented the ideas to the team and then got a bunch of feedback and iterated over it again. Uh, we just wanted to keep it simple. That's why the first screen, you just get an overview of the process. Second screen, your address, your rent amount. And then the third screen is just the result. So it's a really simple interface and we wanted it to look like it could stand alone but also fit into Zillow's app as well, seamlessly. Um. So I, I think this is a, is a pretty important project, um, especially as I was working closely with it. And so what I don't think we've talked about um, yet is kind of like the, 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 the like tech behind it or like the, the back end side of things. And so what we, what we kind of do is the, the result is a, is a score of sorts that kind of tells you like your, your chances of being, um, being put out within, within the year. Um, and so, to, to come up with that, we worked on kind of this, this algorithm that uses some, some arguments as like predictors to, to, to spit out this, this number or this score. And so we use certain things like, you know, the average year over year changes of like rent increase in certain areas. Or uh, as Paul was talking about earlier, the national, what was it, the neighborhood change database. Um, and so essentially there's a lot of research going into like quantifying gentrification and so we kind of use those points as well, um, as well as kind of like utilities, increases, um, a lot of like aggregate data. And I think it's important for someone who is, you know, looking for a place to stay in any part of the country. Um, and they, they would like to know that, okay, if I potentially move here, is there a chance that, you know, kind of like what you were saying earlier, like, can I stay here for longer than a year? Do I have to stay six months and then leave because it's going to be way too expensive? So I think just uh, having like the opportunity to see before you make a decision. Um, and that, that's kind of like our slogan. You guys remember what it was? Like reimagine. Reimagine. The next step. Yeah, the next step. yeah, because we use Zillow's like basic tagline of talking about like making sure you get to the next step. Uh -huh. Right. And and so we, we say it would really be where our, helping you make the next step before you have to. Right. Right. And because so it's like you, you get this information, right? And it's not like, okay, you're, you, you already moved in and then it's like, ooh, like I'm probably gonna have to move in a really short amount of time, right? You're getting this information before you even move. And so using that, that information, you can come up with, you know, a better plan of action um, before moving to a specific place.